So I've actually like dug up this t-shirt, right? Yeah. Little bit too small for me. Had it a while and doesn't particularly fit, but it is a special occasion. Hello and welcome to FTTR, I am you McQuaid and today we are talking about the return, the one of the best returns I have seen in goddamn ages, the return of Johnny Gargano to WWE. I'm a mark for Johnny Gargano, okay? Let's just get that out of the way. Johnny Gargano is probably in my top three favourite wrestlers of all time. The influence he's had on me is astronomical. Even as much as Champa was the you know, the dickhead bad guy, and everyone loves a villain. Johnny Gargano has always been just my favourite part of NXT when I was watching. I absolutely adore him. I adore his wrestling. I adore his moveset. Everything about Johnny Gargano, one of my favourite wrestlers in the world. And he's finally back after a hiatus in which he started a family, and I'm so happy for him. He's back. He's back in a WWE ring. <laughs> I'm just lost for words, I don't know what to say, because I love him so much. This is just me gushing at the moment. I'll get into what I think is next for Johnny Gargano very soon, but just his match with Andrade is one of my favorite matches of all time from TakeOver Philadelphia. I absolutely adore that match. I adore the matches with Champa. I adore the match with Ricochet. I really, really love the match with Alistair Black as well. I think that's incredible stuff. He's just fantastic. He's absolutely fantastic. And he's back. And he's back. Johnny Wrestling is back. You can probably guess what I thought of his return. It was awesome, okay? It was sick. And he's back in a company in which he's been presented as a top star which I think is very very crucial okay because I'm going to be hypercritical now on some of the AEW stuff because AEW have brought people in presented them as big deals at the beginning and then they've sort of fallen back on that Malachi Black was presented in an incredible position against Cody when he debuted now he's sort of fallen very far down the pecking order same with the likes of Swerve and Keith Lee, they were brought in with a lot of fanfare, a lot of people thought they'd get pushed straight to the top, and yeah, the tag team champions, but was that really what we wanted from those two guys? Even WWE to an extent, okay, some of the people they've brought in over the past have not been presented as big deals, but Triple H seemingly is protecting his former NXT superstars. You've got the likes of Karrion Cross being brought in as a big deal. Dexter Loomis being brought in as a big deal. Johnny Gargano is now being brought in as a big deal. And he's slowly sort of rebuilding Champa. I really apologise, but my dog is tapping on the floor. He's having a mooch. Apologies for that. So I really think that there is a space for Johnny Gargano in the main event scene of Raw, maybe even vying for that top title. And that is so mouth-watering because especially since wrestling is now taking a more prominent feature on Raw and we're getting really good matches like you've got Dolph versus Finn that was really exciting on center stage and you've got these great wrestlers. It's just fantastic. Now, is there a chance that Johnny Gargano may be forgotten about? There's always that possibility. There always is. But Here's how he's not going to be. I'm going to sort of lay out what I think should happen with Johnny Gargano, a few of his feuds, and how I think the out outcome should go. So I think, first of all, he seemingly set up this feud with Theory. Great first feud. I think Theory can take the loss because he's got the money in the bank briefcase, and Johnny can get his first win, potentially at a big pay-per-view, potentially at Clash of the Castle, in which in case I'll be really jealous of anyone who goes because they've seen Johnny wrestling. And yeah, I think that'll be a really fun first feud for Gargano. Don't think it should continue past Clash at the Castle. I think give Johnny a big win, big stage with a lot of people sorted. Jobs are good. And then you've got the next one. And that's the really tricky one. Because you look at some of the heels 
that are on Raw, particularly since, you know, Gargano's been positioned as a big baby face from that promo. Some of the heels are a bit sort of lacklustre and they're all sort of engaged in other things. I don't really want to see him go into a feud with Judgment Day. I think that's a big step back for Johnny. So I think throwing straight into the mix with Seth. Seth, I think, is going to beat Riddle at Clash of the Castle. And I think their feud has been perfectly told in that it can end at Clash of the Castle as well. It doesn't need to continue. And I think that was a really smart idea of Triple H to pull that match from SummerSlam so that we've only really seen it once or will see it once at Clash of the Castle. So I think then Gargano going into feud with Seth, Seth freaking Rollins versus Johnny Wrestling, and they can sort of try and outdo each other, have this sort of grand saga, which Seth seems to do great with. The Cody stuff was great. This Riddle feud's been on fire. He's one of the MVPs of this year. And then having sort of like, I'd almost have it as like a friendly rivalry, this one. Maybe just like, who is the better wrestler? Because Seth is so over the top in his character. And he, he strips that back to prove that he is the better wrestler than Johnny Wrestling. I think that's a really fun story to tell and maybe have it end in sort of like a, a two out of three falls match or something or an Iron Man match between the two. And then I'd have Seth actually shake the hand of Gargano after this one. I think the turn for Cody was pretty well executed. But I think Gargano, a handshake would do Gargano better than a turn for Seth. I think Seth acknowledging Gargano as a great wrestler, great technician, great star would do wonders for him. And from there, you've got not long until the Rumble, say if they have a two pay-per-view cycle, there's not much in between there. Maybe do some good Royal Rumble build. I'd like to selfishly see Johnny Gargano versus AJ Styles. I think that would be a cracking match. And then you get to the Rumble. And there's only one thing I think people want to see in the Rumble. And this is my this is my fantasy booking, right? Johnny enters number one. Because of course he does. Champer enters number two. That right there, I've just got I've just got goosebumps by saying that to myself. I think that is perfect. So I think Cody's winning the Rumble, but I think giving Johnny Gargano the Iron Man spot in the Rumble will do just as well for him. And maybe have Champer eliminate him right at the end. Maybe come back, cost Gargano. And yeah, I think that would play, play well on the established history. And maybe maybe it's two in a, in a circle for people, you know, having these two NXT stars open the rumble. But for me, I think that's just perfect. And then, if it, again, if it were up to me, I'd have them both in an elimination chamber, sort of keeping them separate but not not having a singles feud but they're in all these multi-man matches together where they have the stare downs and they have the face-offs i think that's a great way to build up until you get champa and gargano at wrestlemania because that's what we've all been waiting for i think a lot of people think it should be for the top belt i don't necessarily think that's true i think this can be a grudge match and i think playing into the history and the video packages of this being this massive epic story arc and all the turns everything that's happened within it having that in one big featured video package and then them two having a match at mania i think that's full circle and a great great close out to the champa gargano story maybe it's rushed a little bit but also i'd like to see gargano maybe swap over to the blue brand maybe get into a feud with roman maybe get into a feud with drew maybe get into a feud with Volta, yes please, yes please, that would be tasty. The Ring General versus Johnny Wrestling just writes itself. There's so many opportunities here for Gargano and I'm so, so excited. This is one of the most exciting things to happen in wrestling for me. For me personally, as a big, stupid Johnny Gargano mark, I'm just happy to see him back. And I've laid out this plan in my head and if it doesn't happen... I'll be sad, but also, he's just back. Johnny Gargano's just back, guys. He's here. Gargano is back. And I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. Let's just rejoice in it, eh? Rejoice in it and be happy. Okay, let's be happy. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. 
And if you, what do you want to see from Johnny Wrestling going forward? What views do you want to see him enter? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll try and reply to every single one of them. Hit subscribe for more wrestling content and thank you all ever so much for your support and have a nice day.